Hello, welcome to Moomoo Math. In this video, I'd like to talk about rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. Each of these are plain two-dimensional shapes. Let's look at some of the properties of each of these shapes. Each of these shapes are considered to be a polygon, which is a closed figure composed of lined segments. They also are considered to be quadrilaterals, which mean they each have four sides. They also are all parallelograms, which means they have opposite sides that are parallel. Let's go ahead and look at some of the unique properties of a rhombus, rectangle, and a square. What is a rhombus? A rhombus is most commonly recognized as a diamond, but they are not limited to this shape. Let's take a look at 14 properties of a rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral, which means it has four sides. In addition, each of these sides are congruent or equal. The opposite sides of a rhombus are parallel. A rhombus has opposite angles that are congruent. The diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. The diagonals of a rhombus form four congruent interior triangles. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. This means that they cut each other in half. The formula for finding the perimeter of a rhombus equals P equals 4S. S equals sides. The formula for area equals one half diameter 1 times diameter 2. A rhombus has all the properties of a parallelogram. These include opposite sides are congruent, the opposite angles are congruent, the diagonals bisect each other. All squares can be considered a rhombus, but not all rhombuses are squares. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other, but they do not have to be the same length. Hello, welcome to Moomoo Math. In this video I'd like to talk about the properties of a rectangle. A rectangle is part of the quadrilateral family, which means it is a plain shape with four sides. In addition, it has several other properties. A rectangle is a four-sided polygon with opposite sides being parallel. In addition, a rectangle has four right angles and the sum of these interior angles add to 360 degrees. Let's talk about the diagonals of a rectangle. The diagonals of a rectangle are of equal length. The diagonals also bisect and create two pairs of equal triangles. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal and the opposite sides are parallel. All squares are rectangles, but not all rectangles are squares. Hello, welcome to Movement Math. In this video, I'd like to talk about the properties of a square. A square is a plane shape. It is a quadrilateral that is two-dimensional, so it has length and width, but no height. A square has four congruent sides, four equal sides. Along with these four sides, you have four right angles. The diagonals of a square are perpendicular and create four right angles. The diagonals also bisect each other. The diagonals also bisect 
bisect opposite angles and create equal 45 degree angles. As a result of the diagonals bisecting opposite angles, they create triangles that are congruent. Triangle A, B, and C is congruent to A, C, D. And finally, a square could be described as a rhombus with four right angles, or a rectangle 